Welcome dear watch friends and today I want to take, to you, take you on board of one of the most interesting themes when collecting vintage watches and especially when collecting vintage Rolex. Tropical dial watches, they are pure magic on your wrist and every twist of your arm will open up new worlds of excitement. So stay tuned and find out why we love them so much and discover these two very special examples available in our shop right now. Yes, the tropical dials are really close to my heart as a vintage Rolex collector. And over the years I have collected them and have discovered all of their magic in different varieties. It really is a rare dial variation in vintage Rolex watches and finding them in great condition is a really special occasion. So you can find them mainly in the 50s and 60s watches and in different models, like the Submariners I talked today, some Dejas, Daytonas, early GMTs, and also in the Rolex Milgaus. Wearing a tropical dial is just pure magic. These dials are so alive and offer so much soul. Every change of light or change of just, you know, if angle changes the look of the watch. Every twist of your wrist opens up new worlds, which excites me so much. When the sunlight hits the dial, it just pops and becomes even lighter and browner. That's the big magic of all these you know, watches. They are always very warm and offer a depth only a few other dials can offer. I was addicted to these dials and one of my biggest grail was a 5512 Submariner with a mirror-like gradient tropical gill dial and inlay. The dial showed all these kind of hues from caramel brown to gold in certain lights changing all the time. But I also, you know, I also owned many other tropical dial watches like a 6265 Daytona Fuerza Era del Peru, which really was a rare issue Daytona. I stupidly sold to buy a vintage Porsche and guess what? After five months the Porsche returned as it really had issue after issue and the watch was gone forever. So I regret it till today. But I also own tropical dial GMTs and Submariners, some Dejust, and yeah, also had a great joy to meet so many like-minded watch lovers and discover their tropical grails. And each of these watches was magical and unique. That really is what makes them so special. Each of these watches is really unique. So next to the great looks, it's very interesting to find out about the cause of this discolorization of the dial as it truly is a discolorization. All these dials were born black. Actually, one could see it as a quality flaw in the dial production, where the black dial changed its color into a brown, camel, gold tones. Now, how could this happen? Well, the answer might be less straightforward than one would think. As they are called tropical dials, one would assume the color change of the dial from black to brownish tones is triggered by the sun and the tropical climate. Yes, that's one of the reasons also, but the big surprise is that they also can turn brown in a dark vault. Yes, you hear it right, in the darkness of your vault, a dial can turn brown. I can't explain 100% why, maybe it's also because, you know, it has to do with the climate, but I have seen watches like a Rolex Newman Daytona that has been sitting in a Rolex AD vault for 25 years, turning into brown. It's on the wrist of a dear friend and I have seen it live and I have seen all the story unfold from the beginning. So yeah, crazy. I also have seen Daytona dials that turn brown after sitting in a world for also over 10 years, just loose dials and other examples. So it really is crazy. Well, the best way I can explain it to you is the following. When creating a black dial, you never just put on black paint or inked on the dial. But the black is a mixture of different pigments and colors to get a deep dark black. And the UV and climate can trigger a certain spectrum of pigments or colors to fade. I have been a designer and had a design agency for many years and when we you know, used to print or use deep dark black in printing, we used a mixture of 30% blue, 30% magenta, 30% yellow and 100% black layered on top of each other to create a deep black. And the same goes for many black paints. It's always a mixture of different pigments uh, to get a deep dark black. 
For example, when a bluish color is in a black mixture fade, the color will change into a warmer and brownish tones. The more the bluish pigments fade, the more the red and the yellow pigments become more dominant and change the total feel and total look of the color. When you look at my Guild 5512, you see it happened one step further even. Under the original gloss varnish, the black completely faded to a point where the copper base plate of the dial adds the golden tones to the look. So the gloss layer is still mirror-like and just like the, you know, the color underneath just faded. This is what you see more often with these guild dials, submariners and GMTs. Really these kind of goldish kind of tones when the, when the underplate is, is coming through. One important aspect of the tropical dials is quality. When climate is a factor, you want to make sure that the tropical effect is not created by moisture and causing the dial to be also be damaged. With guild dials, you can see that more often, where the dial's gloss varnish is eaten, damaged by moisture and even sometimes rotten. Also causing color change, but way less sexy and valuable than the original varnish still in great condition. It's just small details, but a very big difference in value, but also sometimes in look. But hey, also some super cool examples with these dials that show like tiger style kind of dials or funky combinations pop up. And the beauty is eventually in the eye of the beholder and when you love such variation, it's also just great fun. These are way more for the experienced collector, but when he finds a watch he really loves, well, it's, it's all you need. Today we also show you a very rare variation which you only see in very small numbers and I'm proud to share with you this crazy nice Rolex 5513 with a matte meters first dial in a stunning brown you know, color and discolorization. And with Rolex it's very rare that matte dials turn brown, certainly for 5513s and 5512. I have personally owned two of these way back and only have seen about 12 to 15 over the last 16 years, so really rare. With matte dials, this is a you know, rare dial discolorization as said, only to be seen in the meters first dial versions. And this one takes it even you know, up to the next level, coming with a killer inlay that is faded into brown tones also. Absolute grail submariner for the collector who really wants something special, hardly anyone else will ever have. So yeah, so much jo mojo and character such a watch has. And you see the dial is also in beautiful and great condition, has some warm indexes that add to the warm look on the wrist. And Tropical might suit this watch to the fullest, as the watch was sold by Bucher to a Brazilian gentleman in 1970. So yeah, sure, this one has seen some Copacabana lifestyle and some real tropical life. As said, Rolex with the matte dials, you mainly see the tropical dials at the end of the 60s, 70s, as well as for the Submariners, Sea Dwellers, the GMTs and the Daytonas. Bringing us to the next crazy, nice and rare example of a tropical but meters first MK2 dial red Submariner with punched papers and in an amazing condition. Well, to be honest, it might even be one of the nicest Rolex Submariners we have seen in a long, long, long time. Red subs especially. Magical brown in an amazing condition with warm creamy indexes, a fat looking and fresh looking case, gray faded inlay that adds to the look and the famous patated clasp 9315 bracelet also from 1970, which also is already available. So finding such beauty in this condition is a grail. Check out, you know, how, the, how this beauty dances on your wrist and how alive it becomes when the sun hits it. Yeah, it's just pure sex on the wrist every time you put it on and you, you change your you know, position and twist your wrist. So check out these two beauties in our shop at bulangensons.com and enjoy. And I hope you enjoy also the pictures and all the information. And I hope we have been able to also inspire to have a look at Tropical Dial watches in general. With Rolex, they are quite rare and fetch a big bonus. As also for some other prestige watch brands like Audemars Piquet, the Royal Oaks from the 70s and 80s, also fetch big bonus as Tropical Dials. But you can also find them in many different watch brands from the 60s and 70s in more accessible price ranges, which you know opens up new worlds to you. So one thing is for sure, Every watch with a Tropical Dial is unique and has its own voice and special beauty. I hope you will discover yours and the ones you like. And I hope yeah, you will discover indeed the magic of a Tropical Dial to the fullest. 
Please subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos about our watch passion for vintage watches and also for accessories that make them stand out even more. Enjoy the sun and hope to see you soon again. Thanks.